Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. This is Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pallara. So happy to be with you. I'm in a great mood. You want to know why? Because it's Tuesday, one day closer to the weekend, sure. But it is fall, y'all, the first day of fall. Oh, I just want to go run out in that crisp air, maybe roll around in a big pile of leaves. In fact, we're going to talk about my love of fall coming up in just a minute. Someone who loves fall equally as much. Well, that person's not here. But you know who is? Kara Kinnear, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Kara. We're going to get to the that in a minute. The verdict is out on fall for me, and I'm going to tell you why. OK, well, I just want to tell you real quickly. Yesterday, I was at a baseball soccer game. Soccer game, there's too many sports going on. And I was sensibly dressed in a sweatshirt and pants. Right. And then I got hot, and then I felt like I was getting a fever. Just one of the many reasons. OK? OK. I know you know what I'm talking about. Well, we're going to no? dive into that Anything? and see if, see if people <laughs> agree with you, if that's like a deal breaker for fall. But anyway, you've got some great stories. Please keep me in this wonderful mood with It's All Good. OK. I will. We're going to start out with a layered story because it's got so many good things in it. And one of them is travel. And I'm going to tell you, remember traveling? It's so lovely. Um, but this story is about Corey yes. Lee. And Corey so nice. was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy when he was a child. And so since the age of four, he's been in a wheelchair. But that has not stopped Corey. So what has Corey done? He made a pledge that he was going to go to all seven continents. And right before the pandemic started in February, he and his mother went to the final continent on his list, Antarctica. He said it was the most breathtaking sights he's ever seen. Wow. It was truly remarkable. And it's a special story because, you know, Corey is limited, some would think, because he is in a wheelchair. But he said that him and his mother have really researched companies that make it able for him to travel and to travel well. Um, and his mother was a single mother. She was a teacher. So they would always go on road trips during the summer. And this really spurred his love for traveling. He has since then been to 37 countries. His favorite are Morocco and Antarctica, he said was his favorite. But um, he went to all seven continents. I want to tell you what his Instagram is. It's at Curb Free Corey Lee. Um, and you should check it out because on there he also gives tips for traveling if you happen to be not of a typical body um, and gives you really good um, tips for that. So when we can all travel again, we can use Corey's insight and wisdom and um, travel that way. He also released a, tr a children's yes. book, which was released in July, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the American Disabilities Act. Um, so Corey's doing a lot and he's sharing it with all of us. And Ooh. we couldn't be happier for you, Corey. I was so envious reading this travel log of yours. Really, really cool. <laughs> oh, Kara, I would absolutely love to read about his adventures. And what a hero, like we talk about all the time on this show, um, for him to be able to still have this dream and think nothing's going to stop me. And I'm so happy he got Antarctica in before the pandemic. Um, just incredible. I'll make sure I follow him. And um, truly, what an inspiration. And I can also just get excited about traveling again. Yes. Like Curb. Exactly. Exactly. Can't At wait. Curb Free Corey Lee. Check him out. And you know what he said? He said Antarctica was like full of ice mountains and penguins, and it was exactly like you thought it would be. So cool. I've never thought about going to Antarctica, but I'm going to uh, check it out. All right, this next story. Maybe you've seen this video circulating on social media because it has gotten over it's nearly 5 million views. It's gotten over 4.5 million views so far. So Mason was sitting on his mother's lap. Mason, um, for the first time, fitted with hearing aids. He was born four months early, so spent over 150 days in the NICU. Oh, wow. But Mason now can hear his mother's voice. Check this out. Mason, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh. If you have um, been around a child that's been in the NICU, my nephew was in the NICU for months and months, and to see them grow and to come out and to be okay yes. and to be able to hear his mother's voice, uh, I can't imagine how special that moment was for all of them, but especially for little Mason. And his mother was so sweet. She said, you know, now anyone, we, you know, we're home now, and anyone that's talking, he is just very into. Of course he is. He's hearing the sweet, sweet sound yes. of 
voices. No kidding. Thank God uh, for technology. I love those stories. And to see that look on his face, uh, just priceless. Just so, so incredible. Thank you, Ms. Kara Kinnear. Love you so much, girl. And guys, um, if you have a fun or interesting all good story, make sure to send it to us because Kara will get it in the show this week, facebook.com slash ATLinco or tweet us using the hashtag, it's all good.